This is The Final Word with Jeff Lemon and Adam Collins. Thank you to John Doyle for coming on the show, although he didn't know he was coming on the show. Um, he later on said it would be fine to be on the show. So, uh, look, that was that was just me. That was that was the sort of, I don't know, it's like the, the, the solo projects of... Um, <laughs> I probably can't say John Lennon, maybe Julian Lennon. Um, but, yeah, you know, sometimes you've got to do a little bit of stuff outside the band, that's all. Uh, yeah, so uh, had had I known you were going on, had I known you were going to uh, um, talk to John Doyle, I definitely, definitely uh, would have gotten you to ask about the Bodyline miniseries from mm. 1984, which I wrote, I think I wrote a 4,000 word univers- university essay about back then. I, I, was in some, I was in some third year film class at Monash. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they let me do this. Yep. I, I, I did my major essay on Bodyline, which was a six part series, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. Uh, and John Doyle plays Gubby Allen, uh, the Quisling traitor, as Daniel Norcross would call him, of course, mm-hmm. because uh, Gubby Allen was the uh, the man who refused to bowl uh, bowl the body line tactic when yes. when uh, when Jardine clapped his hands, uh, they, they they didn't run around into the ring on the leg side for uh, for Gubby Allen because no. he resisted that urge and left it to the others. But um, he was bowled no less outside off on that That's series. That's what Gubby did. Just bowled outside the off stump. Just bowled outside uh, off. Know. So yeah, much to the frustration of, of Norcross, who still to this day. Um, has a portrait of Douglas Jardine sitting above his sofa. So, um, so uh, yes, that, that it doesn't. It isn't in keeping with his his uh, his value set, shall we say, when it comes to Ashes cricket. But uh, yes, John Doyle uh, was in that alongside, of course, Hugo Weaving playing mm-hmm. uh, playing Jardine and, and Gary Sweet playing Bradman. But uh, yeah, I, I, God, at some bad. point we can. It's we can so ask. bad. I, it's I, not I, though. It's it not. Really it's not bad. I mean, the I cricket re- scenes are bad. I watched it. I watched it with I don't know two years ago, and it is. It is a very, very bad piece of film. <laughs> Stop it! Don't ruin my uh, don't ruin my childhood. Anyway, I bet, I, 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 what I have, what I, what I did do, I, you must have been well, like you know, twenty five when you wrote this. No, essay. no, 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 no. I, I, I watched it as a kid. I had the right. tapes when I was a kid, and then, and then yeah. later wrote about it as a you know I wouldn't call myself an adult at age twenty one, but sort of no. trending towards being something resembling an adult at that stage. I remember yeah. there was um, it's like the larval stage of a human being. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not, you're not a grown up when you're twenty one. There, there was a um. There was a, uh, a, a Tiger O'Reilly was the Sydney Morning Herald's cricket correspondent mm-hmm. at that stage in '84, and he wrote a review of it. And of course, you know he was there, so he yeah. was fairly well placed to write a review. And he was scathing about the way they depicted a number of scenes in the film, mm-hmm. not least Bradman having a few beers with the lads, because of course Bradman was a notorious yeah. teetotaler, um, and, and you know the way they tried to to manage that through. Yeah. So you know, I, and he was fairly generous to Bradman in, in that description. Um, it's not as though it was a hit job, but. There was still a sort of healthy animosity between those two deep into their lives. Mm, yeah, and like I mean, the idea of casting Bradman as a guy who you know did a bunch of abseiling on police rescue and was <laughs> was a was a TV week heartthrob that that various teenagers had on on the back of their bedroom doors. You know, yeah, real Bradman areas. The, the guy with a voice like this who was about five foot two. <laughs> like, yeah, he made a shitload of runs, but uh, mm. uh, Gary Sweet wouldn't have picked Frank Ward. I'll tell you what. Gary Sweet would have played it straight. Clary Grimmett all the way. Um, I think that takes us to the end of the show. So this has been The Final Word with G. Lemon and A. Collins. Uh, Thank you, first and foremost, to everyone who is on Patreon and subscribes to the show because that means that we can keep making it. It is a miraculous thing that you do that lets us do this a couple of times a week. Um, We'll be back on the weekend for story time. The show is uh, distributed on the Bad Producer Podcast Network and edited by Dave Collins. I just want to say that if you if you have found it hard to get into the Discord channel, just send Jeff or me a message and we can send you a different link. That For whatever reason, some people have struggled to, to draw that link together from mm. patrons. So yeah, all you need to do is contact one of us and, and we'll send you a different link to let you in there. Where there are currently, Jeff, 150 roughly yep. of our community who are talking amongst themselves. Occasionally we drop in to say hello and it's okay that we don't. There was nearly a final word catch up at the Trent Bridge test last mm. week. It didn't quite come off because some plans changed and some rain hit but um, it won't be long before we start doing these meetups on a regular basis and they're all kind of gravitating around the discord channel so once you've uh, sent in a nerd pledge on patreon uh, that is your domain as well also wonderful to hear that aside from the gary sobers waiting area at trent bridge um, they've now named a temporary bar after him so you can go to the sobers bar 
how's that? <laughs> how's that for a... Um, but it's also a temporary bar in the indoor cricket nets. So it's still just as shit house as the waiting area. <laughs> it's a way to, way to celebrate the career of, of one of the greats. Um, I'm, sh- I'm, sure, I'm sure he's very touched, Sir G. Uh, the show is sponsored by Brick Lane. The Brick Lane Brewing Community. Um, if, you, Hell yeah. if, if you enjoy a beer, um, try one of theirs. They're helping us. It's a very nice thing they do. And Wisdom Cricket Monthly, don't forget, you can get a sweet subscription for just about half price if you click the link in our show notes. Other than that, uh, we'll be back on the weekend with story time. We'll be back before then with the daily show on the test match, the, the 10, 15-minute shows that we do at the end of each uh, day's play in this England-India test series. That's it from us. Signing out. See you next time. Bye.